Hello, this is Andrew with WMH Racing, and today I'm going to go over the iCharger 456 Duo and 458 Duo firmware that you need to run in order to get the max discharge rate using the Donathan Racing Concepts discharge box. All right, so to actually uh, get the settings for this, uh, you can go watch the video uh, that were that is uh, out there for the for the duos, um, but specifically for the 456 and the 458, uh, you need to make sure that you're on the correct version of the firmware in order to uh, be able to discharge at the max discharge rate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug this so you can see what version of firmware I'm on and that I'm not on the correct version. So 1.14 beta one. Uh, most likely you probably get your uh, your 456 or 458 with version 1.13 uh, this is a beta version that I was working with iCharger to try to fix the issue um, I ended up having to go back uh, to a much earlier version of the firmware uh, so there are a couple ways to upgrade the firmware on the iCharger uh, one is to sideload it via an SD card or a micro SD card um, the second way is to download the Junsi console and uh, update, update the firmware that way. Uh, the second way is by far the easiest way. Um, however, the Junsi console uh, that you can find uh, has not been updated and it doesn't work. So I had to get a new version of the Junsi console from uh, iCharger. And uh, we've got a link to it uh, up on Donathan, uh, drcproshop.com. I will put the, uh, uh, the the URL in the uh, video description, uh, but I will show you. Uh, we can navigate to it here if you uh, if you don't want to just follow the link. All right, so you're gonna go to drcproshop.com. Uh, you'll click on the uh, uh, electronic services, then the discharge resistor banks. Uh, you come to this page, uh, you scroll down, and you see download the Junsi console software and download the V110 firmware. Uh, so you'll go ahead and click here and download the Junsi console software. And then either your 456 or your 458 firmware. So the firmware version that you're looking for is version uh, 1.10. Uh, once you download the Junsi console, you can go ahead and install it. Uh, I do already have it installed, so I'm just going to run it. Uh, you need, let's go back. You need a, where are you? USB-C, USB-C. Uh, you'll plug it into the USB-C port on the top of the charger. You'll see the Junsi console software will automatically pick up uh, your charger when you plug it in. Let's make this bigger. And and what we do is we go to device, we go to firmware upgrading. You are going to choose a file. Uh, you can go ahead and browse your uh, downloads. And I'm going to pick the 456 version 110 download. I'm going to click the upgrade button. You will watch your I charge her go into a boot where it updates the firmware. Now, again, you can do this via an SD card. Uh, you can sideload it via an SD card. However, the uh, instructions are slightly different than what the RE Charger manual has. Um, so I just recommend this way. Uh, it's, it's much easier. All right, once you're done, you can hit cancel, you can unplug this. Uh, we'll go ahead and unplug this and plug it back in. You can see the firmware is V1.10, and we can probably get to that. Let me hit tab system, long press. There we go. Jar is set up. Is there a help, a help in here anywhere?
Yeah, well, I don't know. Figured you might be able to get to the actual firmware version in the setup too, but whatever. I'm gonna exit that. Okay. Anyway, there we go. We have upgraded the firmware on the iCharger 456 Duo. And then you can watch the other uh, videos to actually get the uh, how to set the discharge settings. All right. Thanks again. Bye.